Welcome aboard everyone, Simon here from the Wells of Wall Street. It's Ripple Day today, XRP. Let's take a look at a few updates from the last few days in regards to this unbelievable financial institutional level powerhouse. Guys, Bhutan. Okay, so as we've seen a multitude of these kind of articles throughout this year, and last year as well, CBDCs are becoming very mainstream topics. People are still asleep in the mainstream world, in the matrix, realizing that CBDCs are not a thing. Realizing that this doesn't exist. What it does, I'm afraid, CBDC, central banking digital currency. Guys, this is very much another move in the right direction for the transition to digital currency that we've known for a number of years now and also the interoperability aspect the bridging aspect the removal if not certainly the reduction massively of things like exchange rates fees we're talking about real-time payments 24 7 across the world no more waiting days no more uh, temporary balances in your account until it finally sorts itself out because we're still using technology from about 80 years ago. Guys, this is gonna change the world. XRP is one of the key front forefronters of this. We've obviously done Stellar Lumens, very key aspect as well, and of course XDC. All of these, in my opinion, will, will bridge together at some point, I'm sure of it. Um, not necessarily, obviously, as the same company, but certainly will be utilizing each other and the aspects of the financial world uh, as we move forwards to a greener world, an Agenda 30 world, and this is a gigantic part of it. If you don't think this is related to Agenda 30 and the World Economic Forum, I suggest you go on both of those websites, both download the Agenda 30 document on the UN website and go and have a look at World Economic Forum, especially Davos Agenda this year, uh, back in February, March time, I think it was, multitude of agenda points. Bear in mind, people pay 400 or 1,000 pound tickets to go to these agendas. These are top, top brass people in the world. And a lot of the topics were around digital transformation of supply chain and finance, as well as many other aspects as well. So the XRP ledger, XRP, as, as you know, is going through a lawsuit with the SEC. Who's going to win? Well, I don't really care because I know whatever happens, if they pay a fine or they don't pay a fine, or if they get found guilty or not guilty, this thing is going to fly through the roof once that lawsuit's ended. And more importantly, the world is going to change for the better when the likes of Ripple have got substantial uh, foot in the door for the next revolution. The fourth industrial revolution of the world is beginning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone, people all over the world. It's going to be huge. Guys, uh, this is obviously one of the topics. So... Um, yeah, Bhutan, Central Bank, Royal Monetary Authority, RMA, who will use Ripple's CBDC solution. Yet another tick box aspect of Ripple's dominance in this space moving forwards on the world's uh, project with financial power. The next bit of news here, of course, about the capital with on-demand liquidity. So much uh, going on around that aspect as well on the on-demand liquidity solutions cross-border transfers, faster payments, less emissions, cost-effective is going to be massive, guys. I'm not even joking. Like, this is a phenomenal project. If you don't know much about XRP Ripple, I suggest you really delve into what these guys are about to do and have been doing. Even respective of this boring lawsuit, I can assure you, they're going around about their business as if nothing's happening. They're not worried about this lawsuit at all it's just a hindrance it's a suppression because the government and certainly the nsc nsc sec sorry governance wants to stop this from happening they want to ensure that the us dollar remains the universal reserve currency around the world i'm sorry but it's going to end soon look at the inflation look at the demise of the dollar the digital one is massively growing in popularity and interoperability as well. 
Could that take over? Or more importantly, are we gonna get a unified bridging system? Could XRP be the currency? Could it be the ledger system that controls the entire world's financial system and everything will have to be integrated within this new project? They're dealing with SWIFT. Uh, we've seen XDC doing similar things as well, as have Stellar. It's all coming to play, guys. The world is falling apart around us. You don't need to worry about the mainstream news. Follow your instinct. Follow the information that these kind of organizations and companies are providing. Follow the money and you cannot go wrong. The agendas are out there. The news and the FUD is out there. China blocking crypto. Oh my goodness. We haven't heard that about 100 times this year. On and off. What happens? The price drops. UK right now, fuel shortage, food shortage. What happens? Everyone goes to the petrol station. There's 10, 15 minute queues. There's food evaporating off the shelves. People, 90% of the population, unfortunately, adhere to what's told on them on the tube. If you haven't watched the film The Network, by the way, in 1975, I think it came out, go and watch it. Because as soon as you watch that and you see all the rants and everything in it, you'll realize that we just go round and round in circles and the big corporations win. It's now our time, guys. We're invested in something so unique and special. It's, you can't even comprehend it. It is absolutely gigantic. So guys, Ripple doing, well, creating ripples really in the world of finance. It will continue to do so and it is going to be one of the absolute powerhouses in terms of a crypto asset and what it's going to achieve for the future. This is revolutionary, okay? The Triple X crypto is our favorite bags and that is for a reason. And I'm sure that's replicated in multiple portfolios across the world um i have no doubt about that guys let's go into the chart i've waffled on enough probably gone on too long like this video if you find it informative subscribe to the channel if you're new or have not subscribed yet and make sure you press that notification bell to ensure you get notified of all the awesome videos coming away couple of observations guys we hit the buy point that we put in in the previous video if you remember uh, we haven't done one for a few days now. I can't believe how quickly the week goes. I try and do the videos as much as possible and as um, consistent as possible, but it's just you know trying to balance work and everything like that, of course. But we did hit our buy point here at 92 cents. People were calling me mad. We hit it um, and that's happened. I wasn't expecting us to come back and test this old 87 cents. I thought we were way beyond that. But here we are in the crypto world. That's a learning for me that actually, yep, even though we've tested it multiple times at that level, if you remember way back, everyone was going, oh, when's it actually going to break the dollar again? When's it going to do it? And we had all this period of time, this whole two, three months, well, two and a half months-ish of sitting under the dollar. Um, and then we got to that that point. The recent high of one four, uh, one three nine is that? Oh, no, there we go, 141. Um, but we haven't got yet to that previous all-time high, which is up here. Uh, on the 14th of April, where we got to a high of $1.96. Now, guys, I think realistically, this could be uh, something that certainly goes towards that five or six dollar mark this year. Um, however, you will anticipate potentially some very big moves if the lawsuit concludes. Whether that means guilty or not guilty is kind of half irre irrelevant. Uh, the project will still continue. The revolution will still continue. But you might see a, maybe a 24, 48 hour mental spike when that occurs. So always keep an eye on that. Uh, some people are saying that well, we'll finish soon. I think I've heard that for the last like nine months now. It's boring. Um, I, I thought that it might happen till next year, maybe even till November next year, which ties very neatly into a lot of the CBDC launches. It ties into a lot of things in the UK, for example, a deadline to uh, hand in all your old smelly pound notes 20 pound notes 50 pound notes they're all going they're all going to the plastic one um and i'm sure eventually those disappear as well so that's the deadline it's very convenient all these things it's similar to like brexit and stuff and the agenda and everything that's going on right now in the uk can people not realize this is all pre-planned so back to the chart guys let's see what we got here so we've hit back down at this 87 um we had three essentially resistance levels here up here, we tried to gain back the support line of 96.59. That's what I've got on my fib retracement. Um, that was concluded and accepted. However, today, 
uh, we did have a big drop back down, almost trying to push back to the 87. And we had the Bitcoin news again today, boring, um, where it did pull us back down here. But we've we've retaliated well so far. But I'm I'm kind of partially concerned in the sense that right now, as of recording, we haven't pulled ourselves back to this level of around 96 or 97 cents. So if we continue to remain under here, there is a slight chance of, of this chart pushing back down to this 87 again. It's kind of a good thing because it, it kind of almost triple confirms that this level is now a nice new support area. And then we can start really pushing up. I'm hoping and I would anticipate that if we do come down, we'll bounce back up again anyway. And we'll start getting maybe a few days traction around that 87 cents before perhaps moving up towards these kind of areas uh, where we see maybe in um, a few days time, can't believe it's nearly October already, that we will start breaking that 97 again and pushing towards that dollar as we approach maybe the end of the first or into the second week of October. When are we gonna start seeing these old uh, all-time highs? I anticipate that to be happening maybe on the fourth week, or fourth week of October, maybe just into November, certainly getting equally more and more near that that line smashing through it hopefully as we enter december and that's when the anticipated run is concluding around that month and possibly into january so we've got to keep an eye on this space more importantly take profits along the way try and buy dips if you can it's not financial advice obviously but just opinions and thoughts of course do your own research have your own strategies um, I personally am not buying in on dips. I've got mine in storage. I will be bringing it out very soon for uh, maybe the middle of October towards the end of October, just ready to pounce on some profit taking as I bought most of mine for around 10 or 12 cents, if I remember, uh, partial last year and some really early this year. So I'm looking forward to cashing that in and then possibly buying back, but also keeping a stash because I do believe that a lot of these fundamental projects may not even go into a full bear market. We've got to anticipate that these things are going to go absolute rip roaring as we enter the CBDC revolution. We're down 13% on the week, 20% down on the month. This is actually anticipated, to be fair, this is including around about three or four big Bitcoin FUD dumps. Um, we're up 50% on the three months, six months, we're on 69 and year to date 322. So me, I'm, I'm more than happy with XRP's progression right now. Uh, we are stabilizing um, nicely. I think that we're going to keep concluding this nice movement upwards. And like I said, I do think that by come November's time, we will be starting to attempt that breaking of the all time high. Couple of other observations before we wrap up guys. Uh, I'm just going to pull this up a second so we've got a bit more space on this MACD. We are opening a bit of a gap here. We've got to bear in mind that is including a Bitcoin nonsense day to day. But we were actually starting to try and bridge that gap and maybe do a potential switch over. Similar to like what we saw here around the 20th, 20th of July. I truly anticipate that, that that sort of mechanism might happen but more of in a positive mood very soon. The selling off is... Uh, going into this pale red here. It's not quite the lower volumes that we wanna see. That's why I said perhaps into the second week of October is when we might see some traction moving up towards that, that dollar mark again. As so we will be a bit patient over the next couple of weeks, but it will come. I have no doubt in my mind about that. The RSI in terms of buying position, it's actually quite a good one uh, in my opinion. I think that this is uh, re it almost reduced the amount of risk possible. Of course, if it does still come down, you're just, you know, damage limitation, as they say. It's a good point. Because then when in two, four weeks time, this starts rising, uh, we can start taking some profits when it sort of gets that 70 mark and onwards. Of course, this is a 14 day RSI that you can look at extended ones as well and you get a similar story. So there's a good, uh, good um, optimism here for XRP. I, like I said, I truly believe this can get to maybe between that sort of six to maybe five to six dollars this year. Um, it all depends on this lawsuit as well. If we can go higher, if it, if that comes out, we could see penetration of beyond ten dollars for a short period of time. If we look at historic information like the Kin coin going through similar things a few years back, fourteen hundred percent increase in. 24, 40 hours, and you bear in mind, Kingcoin, obviously a fantastic project, but nowhere near 
nowhere near the capabilities of what XRP is about. So anything is possible. Guys, want to wrap that up? Let us know if in the comments below if you're holding XRP, what your anticipation is for a price prediction. We will start labeling them on our charts moving forward. So do leave your comments about price predictions and we will put some of the ones on the chart. And at the end of the year, whoever gets the closest, we will ensure that we are giving away some nice ledgers. And we're doing this for a number of assets as well. We're going ledger mad, guys. So you can hold your nice tokens in the bear markets and into that next run in a few years' time. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We will see you all in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.